Well, the death toll has been climbing through the day. When we arrived here in the night, the rescue effort's still going on. You could smell the smoke in the air. You could hear the huge pieces of metal being dragged out of the factory. Those pieces of sheet metal were the roof. They collapsed in. And when you look at the rescue workers dressed in those orange uniforms, walking through the debris, you can see how small they are compared to those bits of twisted sheet metal. They're huge pieces of metal. They've been dragging those pieces of metal out, looking for the possibility of survivors. Government officials say that the rescue efforts will go on through the night. And we've talked to one man here who said his wife went to work here this morning, has been to all the hospitals, is still searching for her. He doesn't have any information about her. So still people uh, unaccounted for late into the night. And the, some of these stories, the accounts that people have been describing as, they, as they've escaped this inferno here have been quite harrowing. I thought it was an earthquake when I saw people rushing out. I asked them what happened and joined them to run out. The people pushed and fell down at the gate. We had to crawl out of the factory. But the story that continues to emerge here is that some of the doors to the building were not shut. Only one exit from one of the buildings was open. Several other doors shut, padlocked from the outside, we're told. And this is what we've heard from a number of different people who've managed to get out of the building. Authorities say that they have detained set people responsible from this uh, chicken production factory. They won't say how many people have been detained, but responsible people from the factory here have been detained for questioning and an investigation already going on into how this could have happened. But we've also heard that some families here have been showing their anger, anger, because they've now learned that possibly some of their loved ones died unnecessarily because doors were locked. And that seems something that's going to, that's going to, that's going to cause a lot more concern in the coming days. Nick Robertson, CNN, Jilan Province, China.